What's up, YouTube? It's Tom Saki. It's about 5 p.m. right now. It's already getting dark. I wanted to get up before it got dark, but it looks like we're going to ride on dark tonight. Good take one. So it's about 55 degrees right now. And then I looked ahead. Later this week, it's going to be snowing, which is ridiculous. Like in a couple days. So I got the 360 camera. GoPro Hero 9. So the last video I posted, that was the first video I posted in 4K. I posted it and for like a whole day it was just in 1080p. But then now it's actually in 4K after I finally finished processing. singing there right next to me or was that my music playing <laughs> it's like this one I do is just singing right next to me probably saw the cameras and just trying to be silly so I moved the, uh, the 360 a little bit out of the way because every time I film the 360 in the front it's so much in the way so I've really got to move it. So it's a little bit off to the side, but four is like right here. That didn't work out. I mainly wanted it to be centered just so it looked really symmetrical, but eh, it doesn't matter. Um, it still is going to look pretty awesome. Um, just having the 360 itself. So my pants are getting a little chilly. I was thinking about putting sweats on, but I'm well, concealed carrying right now, and I'm like, ah. I really don't want to layer over top of the uh, my gun already. Two layers would be just too much. So no destination today. Um, I don't really know where I should ride. I just wanted to get out. A little. I didn't even see him until, until I passed him. Turn your headlights on. Hate, I hate people that don't have their headlights on at night. sound amazing. Tell me it doesn't sound amazing. It's a little chilly with these pants on, but uh, it ain't too bad. I'll be able to put up with it. I used to wear my tinted visor all the time. Now I just leave the clear one in. You can see so much better with the clear at night.
this point, I've got three GoPros. I got the Hero 5 black, I got the Hero 9 black, I got the 360. So I could actually get a lot of, so like right now I got two set up, which is still pretty good. But I could get like a third um, point of view, not third person, but a third point of view, and have it like shoot back at my like exhaust or like my rear tire. I don't know if I shoot flames, but that'd be the easiest way to tell. Oh look, they got a little bike out here. Wait, no. <laughs> That's a... Uh, they got this little Santa Claus on the mini bike riding in circles around Christmas time. They'll set that thing up. I thought that was actually a bike though. I thought that was someone riding a little pit bike. shooting range I go to is out here but I haven't been there in a while just because of the ammo shortage and it's so frustrating because it's like bro they're literally charging like $800 for a thousand rounds I paid around $200 for a thousand rounds right when like COVID like the height of it or not the height of it right when it was like all starting out and uh, I'm happy I did I still have some of that ammo left because I had to just ration it for this time and I love shooting perfecting my shot Oh, I got bucked right there. So now that it's getting a lot colder and actually going to snow within a week, we're probably going to have a lot less uh, opportunities to film. So I apologize, but it's definitely going to slow down. I don't know if I will or not, but I'm paying a lot of money to keep this bike insured. I got full coverage, uninsured, underinsured, all that crap. It's cost me a lot, so I might actually switch to liability um, for the winter because I won't be riding it. And if I do ride it, it's going to be very rarely. So the um, Kawasaki released a bunch of new bikes. Oh, Corvette over there. Luxury imports. What are you talking about? Those aren't luxury cars. Kawasaki released a bunch of new bikes, and uh, there's a new, uh, whoa, 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 I was about to say CBR, hell no, ZX10 RR, and um, some people aren't a fan of the design, I think it's, it, it looks good, um, but the biggest reason they've got that new design is it's got like 17%, like, more airflow or drag or something, but it's dramatically improved over the last design, making it a way better race bike, which I'm happy with. Um, but some people weren't like, you know, I think it looks fine. But then they had the um, KLX 300 SM, super excited for that. That's a 300, actually a 292cc. Supermoto, but they had a KLX for a while, and then now they've got the KLX Supermoto version, which is awesome. And I got, I'm really wanting a Supermoto. I don't know if I'll buy a brand new KLX Supermoto, but um, if it's a decent price, maybe I don't know. But it looks like a lot of fun. If they had like a 400 or 450 or something, I'd be a real big fan of it. Because like they got the DRZ 400 SM, and that's gonna be a bigger engine than the 300, so obviously it's gonna have a little advantage. But overall, it's still pretty close horsepower. Yeah, look at this. So it's also Thanksgiving, uh, the day after Thanksgiving today, but they didn't hesitate. Damn, that shit's bright. They didn't hesitate to put up the Christmas decorations. I'm probably all lit up in the camera. God, that sounds so good. White clouds in my back, trash car.
Yeah, it's not bad at all. I guess when I work outside in the cold, like when it's a little... Oh my god, look at that traffic. Making a mistake here. When I ride outside in the cold, or when I work outside in the cold, it's pretty much like 30. You get used to it. The way I see it, it's like, it's cold. No matter what you do, it's going to be cold. So you can like whine about it and be like upset over it, or you can just accept it because you're going to have to work through it regardless for 10 hours or whatever the shift is. When you take cold showers, it's like the same mentality. I was taking cold showers for a while. <laughs> it wakes you up in the morning. But it takes a lot of willpower and discipline. I might start doing that again, honestly. I was like showing off this vest I got. I'm looking at the footage again, I'm like, I feel pretty awkward right now. I look pretty awkward at least. It's weird. Uh, filming in front of like a camera, like talking directly to it. I don't know why, but uh, I think it was like it was weird because like the camera was like so low. The camera was so low and I wanted to like look straight ahead, like straight at the camera, but the camera was too low, so I just didn't know where to look. Like, uh, Ricky Bobby's like, I don't know what to do with my hands. I didn't know where to, uh, look, put my eyes at. This bike looks beautiful. Loud tunnel coming up ahead. So this tunnel, it's got a train track right over it, so sometimes the train goes by. My bike's still louder than it though. Meanest launch I've had, I think. Oh, I was jumping through those years. Shifted way too early though. If I was actually trying to do like a top speed launch or something. All right, so that's all I got in for me tonight. Um, maybe I'll ride tomorrow. I don't know how it's gonna go. Ooh. But if you guys like the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Tomasaki underscore moto. That's where I uh, always post photos and videos of my bike. I'll tease a lot of stuff before it goes live in, um, in a video or something like that. And uh, every time I do a photo shoot, I'll post there. But if you guys want to message me and reach out to me, that's where you find me at. Tomasaki underscore moto on Instagram. And we say bye-bye.